Wings for Autism came to Springfield for the first time today and over 50 families got to practice the entire process of boarding an airplane. The event is going to be pretty much exactly like what you would do um, on your typical getting onto boarding a plane. The event's organizer, Angie Perriman, explains how the process worked. So they'll get a boarding pass. It's a boarding pass for the plane. That's my boarding pass. Wings for Autism partnered with Allegiant Airlines at the Springfield Branson National Airport. They will go through the TSA um, security line. Participants went through security just like everyone else. They put their personal items in tubs, took their shoes off, and went through the metal detectors. And then they'll actually be able to board the plane. Want to see all our lights up there? I drive. <laughs> Okay. Event goers say this day has been hugely helpful to expose people with developmental disabilities to the airport to be able to fly in the future. It is a little bit of a scary process sometimes whenever you have a child that, or an, um, an adult family member that um, has um, that's on the autism spectrum that um, you know they've never flown before. So being able to do all of that, go through security, um, you don't really sometimes want to spend a lot of money if you're not going to be able to, um, you know, you're not going to be able to get on the plane. It's just nice that airports and other places are starting to have more openness with people with uh, special needs. And uh, it's a lot of families don't do a lot of stuff because we're afraid of what might happen if we take a child with special needs um, more and more out in public. Event organizers are hoping more airports around the country can organize events like Wings for Autism. In Springfield, Francis Lynn, Ozarks First.